<clears throat> shalom, shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rukakadash, Shalom, La Bakarium, Shol, Yasharala. <clears throat> Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. <clears throat> DJ Khaled, Larry King, I think he's in the spirit world already. And you already know. <clears throat> It's not going to be no two state or one state. The land will be given back to the children of Israel, which is the so-called Hispanic, Black, and Native American man and the speckled bird <clears throat> that are scattered abroad on the earth. All right. Let's listen. You know, I'm Palestinian. That's right, Palestinian. You Muslim? Yes. Do you practice the faith? Yes, I, I, I practice it, um, but I could do a better job. What do you mean? You don't have family in Palestine? Um, yes, I do. Uh, how do you get involved politically in the Middle East? Um, I, 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 I get involved with the peace. You know what I'm saying? Meaning as I'm all about peace. I'm all about um, unity. I'm all about love. And, and I want my people, you know, to always be good. Here's what puzzles me. I've been to the West Bank. Right. I love the people there. Yeah. You, I'm Jewish. You're Palestinian. Yes. We're cousins. Yeah. You know, we go back to yeah. Isaac and Esau. We yeah. go back a long way. Why can't we get together? I wish I had the answer. <clears throat> can't get along, man. It's always been given to the children of Israel. Let's get, um, uh, not that. Let's get a uh, second Ezra. That's what I want. All right. Prophecy is being played out, man. You can't stop it. Um, if I'm if I'm right, it's second as is three. Is it? Uh, nah, it's two. Second as is two. I think it is. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Remember. Uh, let me see. Was it? What was it? Was it four? They put Esau. On, yep, I think it might be four. No, it could be it could be one. So like it, brother. It's been a minute. You know, sometimes I, the scriptures. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Uh, no, that's not it. Uh, bear with me. Bear with me. <sighs> okay, let's let's look. Uh, my, let's. Esau Second 13 Damn I was way off It's been a minute though Second edge is 13 Let's look Let's go uh, 13 <clears throat> No what the hell I'm bugging out today Second Ezra is 13, 13. It's not 13, it's 3. Salaka, brothers. I don't know why they had a 3. 13, let me start at 13. Salaka, brothers. I apologize. Second Ezra is 3, 13. Now, when they lived so wickedly before thee, thou didst choose thee a man from among men whose name was Abraham. Him thou lovest, and unto him only thou showest thy will. And made us an everlasting covenant with him promising him that thou wouldst never forsake his seed, singular. And unto him thou gavest Isaac, and unto Isaac also thou gavest Jacob and Esau. As for Jacob, thou did choose him to thee and put by Esau. And so Jacob became a great multitude, man. All right, so going back to... Larry King, he's being a small hat, and um, DJ Khaled being Palestinian, and I don't know, this, this uh, uh, DJ Khaled might be a J, you know, he's into that music, hip-hop, he's real good at it, you know, he got a little bit of swag, I mean, at one time, I thought he was a culture vulture, but once you get into the spirit, you start seeing it, you know, so you heard the statement that he said about a Isaac and Esau, at the end of the day, the seed was given to Jacob. The seed, the promise was given to Isaac, not Ishmael. Let's let's get let's get that real quick. 
Uh, Genesis 17. Uh, I'm gonna start at um let's start at 19. And the most high said, Sarah, thy wife shall bear thee a son indeed, and thou shalt call his name Isaac. And I will establish my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant and with his seed, singular again, after him. And as for Ishmael, I have heard thee. Behold, I have blessed him and will make him fruitful and will multiply him exceedingly. Twelve princes shall he beget and I will make him a great nation. But my covenant will I establish with Isaac, with Sarah shall bear unto thee at this set time in the next year. So the covenant was always given to Ishmael. I mean, Salaka, slip a tongue. The covenant was always given to Isaac, not Ishmael. The covenant is with an Isaac, not Ishmael. Jacob, not Esau. So both of these um, nations are not uh, uh, those that are supposed to be inheriting the land right now. All right? This is why there's so much violence. All right? Let's listen. But I look at it in my eyes, I don't see why it's a problem because um, I'm sitting here with you right now. No problem. Me and you have no problem. None. I respect you, you respect me, and that's how life should be. You know what I'm saying? I think it's, it's, it's more, uh, you know, out of our hands. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because it is out of your hands. Because Amalek, banker, Wars. Let's see this. Let's let's type in banker wars. There we go. All bankers, all wars are banker wars. Okay. All and this is a good. This is something good. It's a good video you brothers should watch. You know a lot of brothers already know. But all wars are banker wars. This shows you how those that control the money, the elites. The globalists, the bankers, the small hats, you know, those are the ones that control these wars. They are the ones that make decisions, you know, um, when a war is going to start or when they want to go into war. OK, this thing with Ukraine and Russia, Taiwan, China, uh, uh, Palestine and Gaza and, and, and Israel, uh, all of this is uh, controlled by the, the elites. You know, it's all about money and war. And we know that they may, I, I think through the spirit, they may use this war to bring in the karagma. That's that's next. They're going to slip that right in there. The karagma is coming, man. You know, because these devils got to control their money. It's all about money, wealth. And the only way they can uh, gain wealth is through war. Cause that's all Esau knows. That's what Esau knows. All right. Uh, Revelation 6 and 4. And there went out another horse that was red and power was given to him that said they ought to take peace from the earth and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. Okay. A great sword. All right. All right. Because he, he made the world wilderness. That's what scripture said. Let's go to... Uh, Okay, let's, let's, uh, it's not the one I wanted. Stop, stop. I'm, I'm so, so lucky, brothers. You know, I got my girls in the background. Um, so let's listen. Damn, but that's why I come here to, you got to promote peace. And it, be, it needs more people like me to say, yo, let's come together. Let's do some things. Let's show people where we can come together. And I think we doing that by being here. And another thing, DJ Khaled, you know, He's in that world too, man. You know, it's all about fame, money, you know. And, you know, he, he has received his consolation already. All right, let's get that real quick. All right. Uh, Luke 6 and 24. But woe unto you that are rich, for you have received your consolation. Woe unto you that are full, for you shall not, for you shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now. For you shall mourn and weep, man. Here, I think people do that every day by doing Shh. business. I think, you know, a lot in America, people come together. Why can't that happen over there? Are you bitter about the hostility between the two? I have to be bitter at anything that's going to hurt my people. You know what I'm saying? I would never want my people to be hurt. So at the same time, it's like, 
you know, all I can do is pray every day for peace. You think we'll ever have a two-state in existence? I think so. And the reason why I think so, because I got to have faith. I got to have hope. You know what I'm saying? That's the way I, the way I am. So I'm going to be positive about it and pray every day that it's going to be love. <clears throat> mm -mm. Let's get Ezekiel. 34, I'm going to start at 11. As you can see, the restoration of Israel. For this saw the Lord, Yahweh, behold, I, even I, will both search my sheep and seek them out as a shepherd seeketh out his flock in the day that he is among his sheep that are scattered. So will I seek out my sheep and will deliver them out of all places where they have been scattered in a cloud and dark day. All right. And that's what the look is. We've been scattered. Going back to Deuteronomy uh, 28. Let's get that real quick to the spirit. All right. Deuteronomy 28 and um, 64. And it reads, uh, And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other. And there shall thou serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. So we always been gathered. We always been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, and now we're being gathered through the Holy Spirit, through the Holy Word of the Holy One. Right, coming back to this truth. Tobit thirteen, uh, verse three: Confess him before the Gentiles, ye children of Israel, for he hath scattered us among them. And that's what we're doing. We're confessing the name of the Lord. Right? Uh, Baruch 5 and 5, arise, O Jerusalem, and stand on high and look about towards the east. And behold, thy children gather from the west unto the east by the word of the Holy One, rejoicing in the remembrance of the Most High Yahweh, man. So the Lord eventually is doing that. And we're going to come back. I will feed them in a good pasture. And upon the high mountains of Israel, should their fold be, there shall they lie in a good fold and in a fat pasture. So they feed upon the mountain of Israel. And that's where we're coming into, man. So there's not going to be no two for It's going to be one land given to the children of Israel. And the Lord is going to bring us back. Shalom.